Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Jet Lawrence. One of the best riders in motocross today has dedicated his entire life to motocross, and at just 21 years old, he already has an impressive number of titles to his name. Jet Lawrence today is one of the top names in motocross, possibly the future king of the sport. If you don't know this guy, don't worry, because today I'm going to tell you the story of this young talent. Jet Lawrence was born on August 7, 2003 in Landsborough, Australia, son of Darren Lawrence and Emma Lawrence. Lawrence started his career with his brother, Hunter Lawrence. Jet started riding for the first time in Queensland on his Yamaha PW50. It was a bike with wheels, but he didn't like using wheels. At the age of four, he started following in the footsteps of his brother, who was one of the main person in his career and in the Lawrence family, they trained together. In the beginning, Doreen Lawrence's main focus was on teaching him and his brother Hunter techniques to keep them safe and to develop work ethics so that they could succeed in life. But that had nothing to do with being a professional athlete. Jet Lawrence studied the best techniques and watched YouTube videos of Ryan Villapoto and Chad Reed Stewart and other legendary writers to put them into practice. But the Lawrence family often struggled financially, but they didn't give up. In 2014, Jet raced the Junior Mech 65 CC final and was champion. Some sponsors were already noticing Jet Lawrence. In 2016, the Lawrence family had to sell everything and move to the Netherlands so that their careers could prosper and they could participate in the MXGP. Jet took part in some championships in Europe. In 2016, he raced in the 85 Adex series in Germany. From 2017 onwards, everything would start to change. Hunter Lawrence took part in the motocross of nations in 2018, England which was one of the key turning points for the Lawrence family because Hunter Lawrence showed good riding skills and went to Honda in 2018. Still in 2018, Jet won the EMX 250 and soon after was hired by Honda as well to be his brother's teammate. In the fall of 2018, Jet took part in the amateur championships in the US. He competed in the Minios, but as it was a new bike, many thought he would take a long time to adapt but he adapted very quickly and everything happened so fast in Jet's life. In 2019, he raced Loretta in the Open Pro category and finished second overall. Soon after, in Unadilla, he made his pro debut in Unadilla. And there we already knew that he had an absurd talent. He made a P8 in Moto2 in his first pro race. Jet, soon after pro motocross, he took part in the Monster Energy Cup, 250 futures, and was champion. Jet went to Australia for a round in Melbourne of Australian Supercross, and there Jet almost had his pro win. He was overtaken in the last corner, but he was still a young boy. Having his first experience in the pros, in 2020, Jet made his debut in Supercross. He was supposed to have a promising year because he was a rookie. In the first round, he finished in the top 10. At Anaheim, two Jet Lawrence was leading the race when he crashed, and at the end of the race in what could have been his first win, Jet Lawrence crashed in the whoops and broke his collarbone. Jet Lawrence returned to pro motocross, and in the first round he won a moto. And the overall Jet's year was good. He was constant that year. He was up against riders who had been in the 250 for years. And in his first season, he did well. In Supercross 2021, Jet Lawrence had three wins and was third in the championship but everything would change from motocross onwards. Jet's career would change completely. Jet Lawrence was pro motocross champion in 2021 and in Supercross 2022. Jet Lawrence is a 2021 Lucas Oil pro motocross champion. And the celebration the Brian Cooper wrote awesome. I, I had a, a great year. He's a, uh, I loved racing him. He always keeps you on your toes, especially with those starts, but, um, no, I just got to thank the whole crew who got me here. Uh, I can't thank them enough. Um, uh, my manager, Lucas, my whole family, my brother, and... He was champion with a bigger points lead, and in motocross, he did it again. He was champion in 2022. 
Jet Lawrence went to the Mexican in 2022 to race the 450 at Red Bud, and he wasn't one of the favorites, but he put on a show that weekend in his first 450 pro race against multi-champion riders. And then next year, he was going to move up to 450, but first he had to race Supercross in 250 again. In 2023, he practically dominated the 250 Supercross season, and soon after that, Jet was going to take part in his first 450 season, and many said that he would at most be able to win a few motos. He won all the motos. He had a perfect season in motocross, something that very few riders have ever done. He shut up everyone who ever criticized him. He didn't even talk about victories, and he went out there and won everything. In Super Motocross, he didn't get off to a good start, but he turned things around and won the SMX 2023. In the Motocross of Nations, during the first laps of race one, he crashed and went last, but he put on a show because he managed to finish in the top 10, which is already very difficult in a Motocross of Nations. And in race three, he won and Australia was in second place. In 2024, in Supercross, Jet Lawrence won his first 450 Supercross race in Anaheim. Not just Anaheim, but he won eight rounds and became 450 champion. Now the motocross season begins and many are wondering if Jet will be able to repeat what he did in 2023. Jet Lawrence won the first round and in the second round, Jet crashed hard. It would be a crash that damaged Jet's season, but no, the very next week, he turned it around and won the overall, and then at high point, he went 1.1, and Southwick won the overall. But he had to abandon the season because he had a hamstring injury, but he would come back to Super Motocross. Jet Lawrence returned to Super Motocross and won the overall at the first round. Until it came to the final, Jet Lawrence needed to win to be champion. He went out and did it. And then since then, dominance. And that includes this. For the second year in a row, Jet Lawrence is the world champion. Jet now has the title numbers of a future GOAT, or King. In such a short time, he has already won 4,450 titles. It's surreal. Jet Lawrence is an incredible guy. He had a difficult career financially and he followed in his brother's footsteps when they were still kids and changed his life. And I'll tell you one thing, there's going to be a race where he's going to do the last to first. I don't know when it's going to be, but it's going to happen during his career. And he does it the evening. We have seen rookies win this title before. We've never seen someone do it at this level. This guy is a generational rider. He is something special. And you are going to see a display of what the future of motocross is like.